Fox is never far from the podium when it comes to off-road racing. And so when they call a model line the factory race series, you know they mean business. But just because they're winning races doesn't mean they're right for you. So today we're talking about Fox factory race series internal bypass coilovers and shocks. Now the proven Fox formula has always been whittling down race winning performance into a bolt-on package for everyday drivers. And these FR series IBP coilovers and shocks are a perfect example of that. They have big two and a half and three inch bodies. They have big reservoirs. They're generally dual speed compression or electronically adjustable and they're position sensitive. Now the Fox internal bypass design functions the most similarly to an external bypass. Basically you can almost think of these as a twin tube shock. Within this big fat body is a smaller internal tube that has multiple holes or bypass ports drilled into it and that decrease flow rate as they get away from the middle. Basically in the middle of the stroke, oil is bypassing that main working piston through those bypass ports. Each port restricts oil a little bit more so you get more progressive support until the holes disappear. You run out of holes and you get to the end of the stroke where all the oil is forced through the stiff valving of the primary piston. You get those bottom out and top out zones. This design basically makes zero noise, allows for the most individual ride zones, and you can actually shim or tune each zone for very precise control. So they basically can be the most seamless as they transition through the ride zones and they probably make the least noise of everything else. Now this twin tube design does come with some drawbacks and that's really a reduction in piston size relative to body size. Now the 3.0s use the same size piston as their non-position sensitive regular old two and a half inch body shocks and the 2.5s like you see here worse yet get the same size piston as the 2.0s. Now they still are going to have more bottom out support more big bump support than any coilover with shock of the same piston size or the same body size that isn't position sensitive but when you start looking at position sensitive options that add damping force outside of the ride zone like the 8112s, King IBPs, even the Icon stuff, you are going to be down on that little bit of really big hit support. That said, they are much quieter and they can be much more smooth and seamless between the ride zones so we still think they have their benefits. Now, like I said previously, these are available with either dual speed compression adjusters, or if you have a newer Raptor, they are electronically controlled. Fox has the original dual speed compression adjuster, and what you're seeing is the old model here, but the new DSA Evos do work a lot better. These do come with their flaws. Have you seen some of our other videos? We've talked about them before, but I would still rather have a flawed dual speed compression adjuster design than no adjuster or even a single speed adjuster. And the new DSC Evo stuff is definitely a step in the right direction. But if you're looking for more specific details about how one of these kits might perform in the real world, slide on over to our YouTube channel. We have a full review on the 2.5 factory race series IBPs on a fifth gen forerunner upgrading from the factory trd pro fox shocks that it came with and while you're there make sure you hit like subscribe and the bell icon so you make sure to stay up to date with all the fun stuff we're getting into and if there's something else you want to see us talk about make sure to hit that comment section below and if you're subscribed you hit that bell icon you'll probably see what you asked us to talk about and if you're interested in these fox factory race series shocks for your forerunner or anything else or whatever you're driving make sure to slide on over to shocksurplus.com We'd be happy to get you dialed in. And in the meantime, we'll see you out on the trails.